Ventricular fibrillation is a life-threatening arrhythmia which leads to death unless promptly corrected by electrical defibrillation. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation is initiated while the defibrillator is being made available. Automatic external defibrillators in public places have automatic diagnostic algorithms and give audible prompts to the resuscitator so that shocks can be delivered even by the minimally trained persons. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. VF is recognized on the ECG as a highly disorganized electrical activity. Each wave has a different morphology. When multiple simultaneous leads are available as in this case, it can be seen that the morphology is different between the leads as well. It may be noted that VF also has an electrical axis so that it has high amplitude in one lead and low amplitude in another. Here lead 1 shows a low amplitude and lead 3 shows a high amplitude. VF has been divided into fine VF and coarse VF. This ECG shows coarse VF. Usually VF is thought to be coarse at the onset and becomes fine VF as time passes. Fine VF is likely to be more resistant to defibrillation. Hence, an additional role for early defibrillation. Some authors have suggested that coarse VF may be seen in some leads but may appear fine in other leads due to the lead orientation to the axis of VF. But as time passes, VF becomes fine due to metabolically induced degeneration of cellular excitability. When the electrical activity is so disorganized, no ventricular contraction is possible. Ventricle remains still in a state of cardiac arrest which leads to circulatory arrest and hypoxemia. Only a short time window of about 4 minutes is available for the initiation of cardiopulmonary resuscitation, beyond which irreversible cerebral damage may occur. A review of 10-year experience with pre-hospital course VF as the initial rhythm has been published by Hagaten and Associates. Of their 1,497 patients, 25% survived. These were non-traumatic, non-poisoned, witness cardiac arrest in adults. Cases of VF due to direct inhalation of air freshener has been reported. It was due to the inhalation of short-chain aliphatic hydrocarbons, butane and isobutane. Sendil Kumaran and associates have suggested that epinephrine may be avoided during early resuscitation of cardiac arrest in these cases of catecholamine sensitized heart. They used a small infusion for ventricular ectopy instead. Here are the first set of references. Second set of references are here. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.